and look at the area of um, you say that most of the single parents they don't have money yeah. and it is very good what you are doing is so wonderful because yeah. you are connecting them yeah. but in, in case of dropouts who cannot even afford do we have programs to try to arrest that situation we talk of unemployment things like that so, so what we normally do maybe we if we come across a case like uh, maybe a kid uh, maybe has sat for KCP and the, the parent of the guardian is not, not able uh, to, to take her to or him to secondary school. That's why we have partnered with other organizations that, that, that can help in that area. So that's why uh, uh, I said earlier, we, are, we, we, we look with, the, with, with those organizations which can add value to what we, we are doing. Sub, uh, an organization that can understand our, our, our problems. Because uh, that's why we refer them to Konyomo Primary School because it's a government school and the head teacher and the school management committee are aware because some of them come from the same environment. Yeah, maybe just uh, to add on that, eh? like when we did our, <coughs> our first research on uh, issues of education, eh? we, we also linked up with, uh, he's called Bishop Mutari. Mutari. Eh? And due to the issues of women, eh, we linked, there were 15 women yeah. for training uh, in tailoring and hairdressing. He had initiated a program eh, and uh, just to help these women uh, be able to, to, to manage their life. Eh. Two, there's also issue of HIV and it which affects women so much. Eh. And uh, we, we did, we did uh, no, not a, a, a deep kind of research on it, eh? but we, we formed support groups within Korogosho and then liaised with the, this church that uh, Lani has mentioned about. Eh? Word of Life Church. Word of Life. Eh? And uh, good enough, they agreed to start a program. So we have a program running for every year. And like last year, the 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 they had eight eight eight, eight, eight eight people who are going training and counseling for for nine months nine months they graduated i think on uh, when, march on march eh? yeah. and now they, they have another group yeah. which we, we have referred from the community just as a way of supporting because as up on kenya we don't have a way to help them but we can be able to refer to them to other organizations that have capability to do and, that. And then again, to add it as on, uh, you had Econ, is their membership organization. Mm -hmm. Something funny now in Korokocha, uh, almost three quarters of our members are women. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, don't worry about uh, <laughs> it's not married, but just a concern and a focus. It's a concern. Yeah. 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 A focus and a, the, it is a real that one. He has, he has mm. mentioned the, the identification of the issues which are affecting. You know, sometimes we generalize yeah. this. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And so when we generalize, we cannot really be effectively addressing the issues. Yeah. And I'm happy because you mentioned that I was almost going to ask you, are yeah, there some gender priority issues which have been identified? Mm. And, mm. So it is. Hello. So you talked about HIV AIDS. Is there any other gender issues which are arising? HIV AIDS. Is there any gender priority issues which are arising? For example, we can just want to hear about violence against women. How is it that women are the majority? So they are often structurally issue as violence, not issue as violence against women. Oh, no, 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 no. We organize on a community basis, so when they deal with security issues, it's really everybody's issue. Um, and it's important to understand, not only is uh, when they talk about the, the membership of the, the groups in Korogochu, but for example, all three presidents of Acorn International have always been women as is the current one, Marva Burnett. Um, so, the head organizer in France is a woman. The head organizer in our largest affiliate in Canada is a woman. So, these issues are embedded deeply in the DNA of the entire organization. And uh, 
we're a mass-based organization. So in the same way my brother was talking about our efforts to, to incorporate Muslims and Christians and others, yeah. it's black and white and brown in the United States. It's men and women. And we really are aggressive about not separating those issues out. Because we're about building power. And as soon as we talk about dividing, there goes our chance of building power that can win. Um, but we're involved in, you know, how is secure housing not a women's issue? How is better pay not a women's issue? How is security in the community, education, better health care? These are women's issues, as you know. But they're also men's issues. They're family issues. They're community issues. They're national issues. They're acorn issues, yeah. I have a question. I need to know. See, all screws in the United States screw up to the right. So to tighten it down, you have to go clockwise. I had a question. I need to know the number you are up to for the kids who want the, the support. Each year I have we had that there's 10, there's 12, and the number is reducing. So I need to be about that. Uh, I see. When we come across uh, such, such a case, yeah. I say there are some uh, parents who are willing. Some are not willing. And you cannot force somebody to do something like this. Okay. So we, 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 what, what we really do, 